Hey guys, uh, it's Alan with Revival, and we're here in Temecula, California, in what they call, I believe, the Temecula Wine Valley, or whatever. So to explain a little bit further, the um, we're at the Doffo Winery that happens to have a vintage motorcycle collection. So he's got it all decked out in there with quite a few rare Italian and European uh, and a few American motorcycles. So it was a natural place to have this event. Um, I think it's worked out pretty well. The funny part is you're walking through this wine vineyard and there's like random motorcycles mounted in trees and bushes and on poles and on all the railings. So it has a vintage motorcycle vibe. I didn't know that uh, motorcycles and wine went together. I'm seated because uh, this is the most relaxed motorcycle event I've ever been to. It's uh, about 2 p.m. and um, it's at peak hour right now. It's the middle of a pandemic, guys. It's been crazy. We haven't been to a real event, a real motorcycle event in, gosh, almost a year probably. Roland Sands called me and uh, started begging me to come out to an event. He asked us to come out and bring some bikes for a socially distanced outdoor event uh, motorcycle show that he's calling the Roland Sands. Moto Ranch Invitational. He likes to put a lot of words in things and put his name in the front of it. I don't know. You know how those Irish guys are. So uh, we brought the birdcage, we brought our Husky 401, and we brought our Moto Guzzi V9, the Morning Glory. And turns out our Royal Enfield is here as well, the uh, Sunday special that we built uh, a couple years ago. Anyway, so we have four motorcycles in this custom show of about, I don't know, 30 motorcycles. This event has been a little different from what we're used to. Obviously, uh, it's a bit of a throwback to what we used to do, which I call the parking lot motorcycle events, where people just hang out outside and check out motorcycles and have a few beers and a hot dog. This is a little fancier, but it's like 100, 150 people. Uh, there's been uh, Eagles of Death Metal played last night. Uh, there's a few vendors, uh, quite a few of the manufacturers are represented. They brought a bunch of demo bikes for us to ride, and we've just been riding all over the wine valley, or the wine country here enjoying ourselves. I'm uh, here with Roland Sands. Right? Uh, Roland yes, Sands? that's right. Yeah. Oh, okay. So talk to me about what is the RSD Motor Ranch? Uh, the RSD Motor Ranch Invitational is, uh, it's an excuse to get everybody together again. And by everybody, I don't mean everybody, because normally it'd be everybody, and now it's a, it's a much smaller group of people. So you have to understand that most of the events we go to, there's a few hundred or a few thousand people that are up till midnight or till three o'clock in the morning, drinking tons and, and, and letting off, blowing off steam. And at this one, there was 25 of us at 10 p.m. You don't need a million people to have a good time and, and, to, and to have an experience and an excuse to go somewhere and do something. Well, you know? Like, you know, you, like you're used to doing really large mm -hmm. things and, and like you're like, well, people don't show up to our show, it's not a success. And it's like, well, if it's designed to do that, then you have to get used to what it feels like to not be completely crowded, you know? Let's change the subject. You're happy with what's going on? You know, I haven't had any negative feedback yet. And and the, the positive feedback has been, this is amazing. We got out of the house and holy shit, this is a, a, a great space. Great food, great drink, great people. Like, I don't know how to, how to have a better time. So of all the motocross tracks that I've ridden on a wine vineyard, this is the best one. Yeah, easily. Excellent. Yeah, I mean, come on. World, world class motor, motocross track on a wine vineyard. To come here and get to have this experience and ride motorcycles all day and ride all the bikes you've wanted to ride for the year, but do it on great loops. You know, it's an hour loop, it's a two hour loop maybe. It just depends on what guys want to ride. So you get to really experience the bikes like fully. Like that, that is what this event is about, is experiencing motorcycles fully. Let's yeah. continue to have this event. 
Yeah. And, and I'll, I'll, I'll do what I can to support it and keep it small as something that's kind of under the radar. Well, I, I would love to have the public be able to come in in a limited form. And so I think the next oh, step to this thing is to, is to figure out how to bring the public in and, and let the public experience this and, you know, give them, give them the whole enchilada too. On that note, you and I talk enough. So I think we're gonna go ride some bikes on the Super 73. They've set up a course that runs all through this vineyard. That's what this is, this wine vineyard, which is pretty cool. How often you get to race motorcycles in a vineyard, but cool, we're gonna do that. A lot more demo rides from Ducati and Triumph and Indian. I think I'm gonna ride an FTR 1200. Thanks Roland for inviting us. It's been relaxing for sure. Uh, and we're proud to be included. Now's the time of video where most people ask for money or donations or whatever. I'm not gonna ask you for that. What I'm gonna say to you is, if you wanna see more videos and you wanna learn more of what we've learned, and you wanna see a deep dive into a lot of these topics, go to our website and buy something. We sell everything from motorcycle gear, helmets, uh, motorcycle parts, specialized tools. We sell lots of things and they've all taken us years to figure out what the best stuff is and we figured it out. So go to revivalcycles.com there's some really good stuff there. Everything from like kick-ass hand grips from Posh to Radiance LED lighting and everything in between. We want to teach you what we know, but this stuff takes time and it takes real effort to make these videos and make them good for you guys. So go support us by helping yourself to the cool stuff you already need. And it helps us because we make a little bit of profit and then we can justify doing more videos. Thanks for your support.